In this video, I'm going to introduce you to writing functions in Python. First of all, a little background on functions. A uh, function is just a unit of computation. It takes in an input, it transforms those inputs via some kind of computation, and then produces an output and returns it back to the caller. So-called pure functions have no side effects. They're completely self-contained, and they don't affect any variables outside of them. Now, Python is a fully featured programming language. It has objects and classes like you're used to, although programs in Python don't have to be object-oriented. Unlike in Java, in which you are forced to write all of your methods inside of at least one class, Python functions can stand on their own. So you'll see that Python allows you to write short, concise functions with very little overhead. It has a rich set of data types and syntax to work with them, and so you'll find that writing functions in Python is actually pretty easy once you get used to the syntax. So when you're writing these functions, I want you to focus on the inputs, what you're doing to the inputs, and what you need to output. Functions should be short. Usually they're just going to be one line in the body, but sometimes they may be four or five because you have to do some kind of conditional or loop. So to write a function, you want to create a new file to put that function in. So go File, New File, and you'll get a new editor window. And we're going to write a function in here that just takes a number, let's call it n, and then cubes it. So that function looks like this. def, which stands for define, the name of the function, cube, the input n, a colon, and then return n to the power of 3. And that's it. So a couple of things here. First of all, Python is dynamically typed. You don't have to specify the types of the variables. Python figures it out on the fly. This is in contrast to Java, in which you have to tell it ahead of time all the types of the variables. Python, you don't have to do that. Also, indentation is part of the language. There aren't any explicit delimiters that mark the beginning and end of a block of a code. You have to do that through indentation. Notice here that the return is indented, showing you that it's in the body of the function. To use this function, we need to save it and then run it. So we'll go run, run module. It'll ask us if we want to save it. Let's click OK. Let's put it on the desktop, and we'll call it functions.py. The .py tells us it's a Python file. You get this uh, line here in the shell that says restart, and at this point, the function is now defined within the shell, and we can use it. Let's try it out. Cube of 10. This should give us 1,000. Cube of 5. 125. Cube of 0. Zero, so it all seems to be working. Let's make a new function. Bring back our file. And let's make one that computes the area of a triangle. So we'll define, let's call it try area. And it's given two inputs, the base of the triangle and the height. And this is an easy computation. Return the base times the height divided by two. Run module. Do you want to save it? OK. And now both of these functions are defined. Try area. Uh, let's do 5 and 10. So we get 25. Try area 10 and 10. We should get 50. Mm -hmm. How about 1 and 5? This should give us 2.5. So that seems to be working. So that's the basics of writing Python functions. Put the function definitions into a file and then go run, run module. It'll probably prompt you to save it. Once you have saved it and run it, it should appear in the shell here, in it, where you can try out the function by typing in the function name and providing it some inputs.